everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D faces and facial hair in Roblox Studio. You can animate this and I will be showing you how in a minute. So first step, you want to go to the description of this video and there will be a link to this website. And don't worry, this is made by Roblox and it is, you know, I like checked it out and stuff. So then you want to click two things. Uh, blocky face accessories and clothing and blocky character model once you click those it'll show up down here and you want to go into your files and double click go into download and then double click blocky face accessories and once you've done that I will quickly show you what to do all right so once you're once you are in this area you so you went into downloads and double click something called blocky face accessories dot zip then you'll see this, you want to just double click that, and and now you have all these, you want to click the one at the top and hold shift and click the one at the bottom, then you want to hold left click the top one or anyone and then dra drop into downloads. Now you can close this, you can also click that if it pops up, and now you want to go into here, click f uh, file, no, not file, sorry, avatar importer, Arthro, and then now you select uh, the blocky character model and then click continue as Arthro. And now you'll have this in the game. Then to get the facial hair and eyebrows, you want to click. Uh, so, first, okay, before you do anything, click file, beta features and you want to check off accessory fitting tool once you've once you've clicked the check mark you want to click save and it'll ask you to if and it'll say you'll have to restart the game so you'll just click restart save the game and then it'll load again but once you've done that when you go into plugins it'll say accessory fitting, fitting tool and now what you want to do is click avatar importer custom and then choose what you want so there's tons of stuff like eyebrows and beards and stuff eyelashes for now I'm just gonna go with the beard so you want to double click what you want and when it loads it'll be right here but that's not all you have to do one more step you want to click avatar fitting tool accessory fitting tool and then right beside in the uh, Explorer if you don't have it open go to home not sorry not home view and then right here Explorer then you want to see find XBX FBX import generic click the arrow right beside it and then click the mesh uh, click the mesh it will say right now for mine it says a uh, blocky long ducky ducktail beard but for you if you selected something else it might say something different so I just want to click on that and then click next and then it'll show this weird guy. Sometimes the accessories don't show properly, like this one, for example. But you just want to if uh, you just want to click face, next, face, next, then next again, and then generate. Now you have this thing. It it is uh, an accessory for your character, and you just want to drag it into your guy. So mine, I have two. So. I'll just select the right one. Uh, so right down here, you want to just drag it into that guy. And as you can see, it goes onto his face, and you cannot animate it. If you want to know how to add, uh, if you want to know how to add more, it's just the same step. Click Avatar Importer Custom. Choose what you want. For now, I'll just do. Uh, let's find one an angled eyebrow and you can always see what you're placing in case you don't want it now you just want to click it open it choose the mesh next face next face next and then next generate and it's that simple then you just put this into your model like your rig and you can delete that after and you'll have your character. Now to animate it is the easiest step. You just click animation editor at the top in plugins and then select your character. You can name it whatever you want. 
I'll just name it animation test. And then right here it'll say face. You can click that and it'll show this big pop up. If you want, you could just uh, fool around with it and see what does what. But I'll show you what some of them do. So for example, right here, this controls where he looks. If you want to like make an animation of him looking places. Um, this is like up and down for the eyebrow. Like you can like make him blink and stuff. Yeah. And then, let's just stop that. Right here is the eyebrow control. If you didn't add an eyebrow, you you will have that, but you can't use it. But it basically just controls like the position of the eyebrow and stuff. Then this is like your forehead and stuff. I don't really know, <laughs> but you can like raise an eyebrow like that. Want to do the rock eyebrow, you know? And then to open your mouth, it's really simple. Let me just go in front of him. You just lift this part up and this part down. And you can control the tongue and like make it like this. You can add like voice lines and stuff. If you want to learn how to uh, like use the animator, uh, I didn't make one, but I'm sure you can find a different one. Oh, you could just click focus face and it'll put you in front of him. Uh, you can like control the jaw. Um, don't really know what that does, but there's tons of stuff that you could just use and see what they do. Right now, I uh, I do not know much about the face animator. I just figured out how to use it. Decided to share it on YouTube because in uh, I couldn't find any tutorials on it, but so when I discovered how to do it, I just decided I could post a video on it. So, um, I hope this helped, and if it if it did, make sure to send it to your friends if they want it, like to see how, and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.